uh, I found this one on Craigslist just happened to be screwing around on there and saw a guy selling this one I came off of a light tower this one is what is this one it's ST2 made in 79 so that's a full eight years old uh, full eight years newer than my little SR over there and this one looks like it's in pretty good shape it's still got all the original stuff on it from uh, the light tower <coughs> Mexican guy had it and said that he uh, gets core engines and stuff from uh, the uh, scrapyard and they'll send them, send a lot of them down to Mexico. But apparently, there's <laughs> listers are unheard of in Mexico apparently because nobody down there wanted it. So he was trying to sell it. Good for me because he only won 250 bucks for it. So looks like it won't take much. It's got a fuel pump on it. I don't know what, this must be some kind of shutdown. Oh, I see, there's an oil line. This is the oil port where you would normally run a gauge and it goes over to this little block and it's got two switches. Must be for redundancy. And then there's another wire that runs over to the starter. <clears throat> oh, that must be where it, just, where it gets power from. And still has a starter on it, and it's got this little shutdown solenoid. I can't. Uh, it's tied in with the tied in with the rack shutdown, but it's not. Uh, looks like it's not coming up high enough. I don't know just how that works. If it needs adjusted or what? I don't think it'll take much to. Uh, Get this one going. Mm. Little oil in it. It's got a fuel line. Looks like I can just throw that in a can of diesel. All the other fuel lines are still intact. It's got the little filter on it. I think I might even have one of those uh, sitting on the shelf. Or it's over here. Yep, I do right there. <clears throat> okay. So now we gotta figure. Oh hell, it's even still got even still got the battery cables on it. This will be, uh, I guess this will be a little easy one to get going here. Everything's still on it. All right, well, I've real quick hooked the battery up to it. I got uh, to gotta get a longer wire there. That one's almost falling apart to trigger it. Well, it looks like the terminal here is seized up real good, and I'm afraid I'm going to break the damn thing off. So... I won't be able to put a wire on it, I'll just have to use the uh, universal key to start it up, or at least to see if it'll start. Let's see. Well. Now the starter motor works. Too bad it doesn't want to kick the solenoid out. Oop. There we go. There we go. Wonder if it's getting any fuel. Let's see. Oh, I've also got the. Uh, also had the uh, here the uh, trip was tripped closed so throw a little oil on that bad boy see if I can get it to work a little bit better. Oop. Give her a little 
don't drink. This thing's been sitting God knows how long. So there we go. You set it like that. That's run, and then pull it to stop. I'm guessing if it, I don't know how all these work, if they even work. So I'll have to do some, uh, I'll have to get the tester out and see if this solenoid even does anything. That'd be a nice way to shut it down though. Just click a button and shut right off. Get in there. Okay, so let's run. Got some oil in it. Let's see if it'll do anything. Oh, come on. <laughs> Phew. I better open the door. Sit still. Okay, ordinarily with one of these I would take this uh, rocker cover off, but since I'm able to move the kill switch back and forth, I know the rack isn't stuck. Otherwise, you, if you start one of them up with a stuck rack, then it can, if it's stuck in the open position, it'll just take off and not slow down, which is, of course, no good. But, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, each one of these, you can get down in here and crack these injectors. And it should... Be able to get these loosened up enough, you can just crank on it and see when fuel starts running out of them. And we'll get all your hair out. So, let's see. Let's see if we get any fuel out of it. Crank Ola. see anything. Let's just take the damn thing off and see what it looks like. I didn't replace the fuel filter, so I didn't have this open. full of fuel. Hmm. 
<laughs> yummy looking fuel, that's for sure. Well, that looks like poop in there. Is there, there wasn't even a damn filter in it. Well, that's always good. <clears throat> good thing I've got one. And it even comes with all the little 400 gaskets that you might need. Made in USA. This is an old one. Back before Baldwin went to every country but the USA. I think it was back before, uh, well, it was back before Parker bought him out. Yeah. All right, well, I got it back on there. I didn't uh, film that because it was pretty monotonous. It's just, it wasn't rusty, but it just had a bunch of uh, gummed up shit in it. And I also blew out the fuel line. I don't know if it had crap in it or what, but now we should have, if I pump the fuel pump, it did have fuel coming out of it. Oh, I see some bubbles. Yep. There's fuel on that end. Get all the bubbles out. It's much easier when they have a fuel pump on them already, instead of the gravity bleeding. That side. Yep, gosh her. I'd say she's good. Definitely have fuel in the filter. And we actually have a filter in the filter, which is more than can be said for what it was like before. All right. Well, I pumped it up and I can feel the pump coming up on pressure. So that's a good sign. Maybe I should pop this one open, see if it gets anything out. Oh yeah, we got some bubbles. Let's see. Oh yeah. I got some bubbles coming out of there. All right, that's good. That's very nice. Pump it up. Let's see if I can get any fuel out of the injectors now. When I crank it. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're able to see it on there or not. Yeah, come on. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it is definitely squirting fuel out. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if it'll pop off and do anything before I put them covers back on. One cylinder's alive so far, but <coughs> yeah, it's definitely alive. <coughs> Let's see. I don't know. Maybe this one just needs more bleeding. I thought I saw fuel coming out of this one. I know for a fact it was squirting like hell out of that one. Thought I saw a fuel coming out of this one, but I don't know. All right, it is definitely squirting like hell out of there. 
and it's obviously got the other side bled because it's only running on that one side since this one was uh, cracked. So let's see here again. Oh, got to reset it. I'll get used to this one day. There. Reset the thing. It is nice though, so you can just, you know, if you want to stop it, just grab that and it'll pull right out. Slam in her throat, that's for sure. I'm gonna put them uh, rocker covers back on. All right, got the system all bled out, got a filter put in it. Um, I adjusted the throttle back to see if I can get the thing to idle, and got the covers back on. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, it might need some more throttle. like a watch. 